Aussie star of Robocop, Abby Cornish, has already tweeted that this movie is in the number one spot at the box office in 10 different markets. I think that Robocop is the end of summer blockbuster that the cinemas have been waiting for. I'm currently on the black carpet for the Hollywood premiere. You look stunning. How long does it take to, to get this dressed? Two hours. Who are you wearing? I'm wearing Nicholas Oakwell, who's an amazing designer. That's fantastic. Thanks. I'm loving this. It's a glimpse of the future, basically. You know, robots are taking over a lot of our jobs. And so, you know, this is, they can walk away with that. But the main thing I, I would like people to walk away with is just good old fashioned entertainment. Just, I hope they enjoy the film. Somehow, he's overriding the system's priorities. The human element will always be present. Compassion, fear, instinct, they will always interfere with the system. Almost all my scenes were with Michael and Jay and um, occasionally with Gary. And between the three of them, I, it was very, I never had a straight face. I worked with Gary and, you know, he was wonderful to work with, you know, kept you laughing the whole time. Beautiful, positive experience. You know, when I came on set, I thought, here's an Oscar nominee. He's an actor's actor. He's a living legend. He does everything from Sid Vicious to Beethoven to the fifth element of the professional and to Batman. And I thought, what's he going to be like? You never know. And he was so kind, completely took me under his wing, so generous. And I thought, you know what? If I ever get a sliver of the success that he has, I will always remember to be as generous as he. He's, and he's so stylish. Maddox kind of like living every guy's dream. Robots, guns, explosions, and you get to be kind of in charge of it all. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So Abby Cornish plays your mother in this movie. She is Australian. Did she tell you anything about the country? She told me a lot of stories about her childhood, which I thought were pretty interesting. What did she tell you? She told me about this one time, you know, where a knife got stuck in her head. She really carried the whole, like, emotional core of, of the loss that, that Alex Murphy goes through in the film. And, and, and that, I think, is what, this, what sets this movie apart, is that it has that much heart. And, and, um, and that we understand the loss that this man goes through when he becomes this badass killer machine. Better alive. You're coming with me.